The Tonight Show, January 18th, 1990. So he what eats, is this here? He eats, uh, this is a uh, cockroach. Ah. A cockroach? Now see what he's doing here? He's watching look. it. Well, look, look at the tongue. <laughs> Backwards. Okay, now forwards. Forward. Okay, reptile behavior. So, <laughs> now I'm going to take you to a video that I did uh, quite some time ago on my channel, War Backwards is Raw. Actually, there's two of them there. And I think I'll uh, make two separate videos for you. But this concerns an anthropologist by the name of Margaret Mead. Okay, the title of it is The Cape of of Margaret Mead High Priest. The title of this video is The Cape of Margaret Mead. And he is from a different culture. The, the first global attack on uh, environmental problems was the uh, one recently the United Nations conference had in Stockholm and they had 114 nations there so I can't imagine how they could have gotten anything done but apparently some success did come out of it. Uh, it was a difficult conference. Um, a lot of conflicting interests went on and I wondered if uh, anyone who's been there uh, felt that much was accomplished and anthropologist Dr. Margaret Mead just came back from Stockholm and she's here with us to tell her firsthand what happened. Will you welcome please Dr. Margaret Mead? There he is, the cape. And what does the cape signify? Participation in some type of occult group. A priest, not priestess, a priest in his hidden glory. It's not really a prop. It's actually a statement to those who watch and to those who understand or stand under the power of the devil. He's a priest. Yes, he is a priest. Margaret is not Margaret. How are you? Fine. Someone obviously finds your cape quite fetching. Or you, for that matter. With Notice the talk show host will begin the interview with acknowledgement of the cape. So take a close look at the cape. It's not something you'll buy at the local retail store. Mm. Oh, and incidentally, I'm not sure that it even matches. That would be... <laughs> That would be another clue that Margaret is not Margaret. Because ladies always want to match things with their outfits. Does Margaret 
concern himself with matching? I don't think so. I don't profess to be an expert on matching clothing, but <laughs> it looks mighty peculiar to me. And the host of our show acknowledged the priesthood of one called Margaret Mead. There's more to come on this series of Margaret Mead. Okay, we'll try to go back to where it was. And we'll go to the next video, which is the reptilian. The reptilian-like behavior of Margaret Mead. Again, these are on my channel, War Backwards is Raw. And I made these some time ago. But I'm going to show you that Margaret Mead is no different than this. Looky there. At tongue behavior. Now, some of you might find it strange, but nothing bothers me anymore because I know the power of the devil, and the devil can do things like this on people. She has a reptilian tongue, or he, should I say. The title of this video is The Reptilian-Like Behavior of Margaret Mead. Was the conference uh, polluted by politics or were politicians polluted at the conference? Or there were plenty of politics there, you know, there was. because there were the industrializing countries who said just give us one percent of your gross national pollution and we'll be happy. In other words, we just, we'll be glad to have facts. You see it? There it is. Can't help but to stick the tongue out. In reverse. Now we're in forward. Let's freeze frame. What is going on? Some acknowledge that this is this is a serpentine serpentine <laughs> type behavior of a serpent or it could be of a reptile other reptile it's a signal or perhaps it's something that this individual cannot control because they're so filled with demons. One more time, we'll put it in reverse and then freeze frame it. Just like a snake. Is it done deliberately or is it done as a signal? I'm beginning to think that it cannot be controlled because basically speaking these individuals are controlled by demonic entities, by invisible forces that the Bible refers to as demons, evil spirits, or foul spirits. Which is it? What is going on? Do you think? One more time. Is 
Is that the tongue of a serpent? The good news of the gospel is that Jesus Christ came to set people free. And Jesus Christ set people free from evil spirits, foul spirits, demons. And if this individual who plays the role of Margaret Mead were so willing to give up the cape and give up participation in secret occult world, this individual could be delivered by the power of Jesus Christ. But because their hearts get hardened and they refuse to give up the power and prestige and money, they will remain in and under the power of these demons. So the good news is Jesus Christ came to set people free, just like the one you're looking at. And if you ever need to be set free, just call upon his name. Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved, will be delivered. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. What do you think? Margaret Mead, serpent-like, reptilian-like behavior. So-called anthropologists, major works that influenced social sciences, or just a reptilian-like creature filled with demonic entities. As I said in my other video, Jesus Christ can set anyone free, but they have to be willing to surrender to Him and be willing to get rid of these powers in their life, to cast them out, to expel them, to cough them out, to barf them out. But it's all done in the name of Jesus Christ. So I don't think Margaret Mead ever did so, or the actor that played Margaret Mead, the man, obviously it's a man, but the message of the gospel is Christ crushed the head of the serpent. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. End of video.